let's implement unit testing for our Bookly application. But before proceeding further, we need to learn some important concepts. So the first thing we should explore is the PyTest fixtures. One of the best features of PyTest is fixtures. Fixtures are functions that have reusable bits of code we can run in our unit test, such as static data used by tests or to define test underscore client. Fixtures allow great flexibility than setup or tear down, as you can have your fixture execute with different scopes like function, class, module, or session. Mostly, it executes prior to the test cases and can be accessed in different test cases. We will implement two things in our PyTest fixture we will set up for Bookly. The first thing is a database, because we don't want to run tests on our existing database. And we also don't want tests to interfere with each other. Therefore, the first order of business when writing tests for anything related to databases is to create a mechanism that produces a fresh temporary database for each test case. And the second thing is the test client to send requests to actual routes. Another concept we have to understand is test underscore request underscore context. As an alternative to test client, there is also the test request context method that can be used in combination with the with statement to activate a request context temporarily. With this, you can access the request, G and session objects like we mostly did in view functions. Here you can see a sample code to implement test request context. So here you can see we are accessing the request object using the test request context and with this we can parse the information comes with the HTTP request. Great. So let's implement testing for our Bookly application. First, we have to set up PyTest. I opened my project in PyCharm and installed the PyTest module. So first of all, I will create a directory for testing named tests. Also, I will create a Python file named conftest.py. It's actually the global configuration file for PyTest, which is mostly used to define fixtures used by all test cases. But our purpose to define it make our custom packages available because when PyTest discovers the conftest.py, it modifies the system.path so it can import stuff from the conftest module. Next, I will create a file named test underscore inside the tests directory. Inside this file, we will implement all our test cases. So first, I will import some modules we will utilize like OS, temp file, pytest, and from local packages, we will import our app instance and all the database related stuff. Now, let's create a pytest fixture to define a temporary database and a test client, which we will utilize in our test cases. So I will say, at pytest.fixer, then we will define a function named client. Inside this function, I will set the testing for this application to true. Then we will create a temporary file as of a database by using the temp file dot mkstemp, which creates and opens a temporary file, returning the file object and the path to it. The database path is overridden, so it points to this temporary path instead of the instance folder. Next, we will create the test client by using our application instance and in our app's context, we will call the create underscore table function, which will create the book and the user tables inside the temporary database. And finally, we will close the temporary database object file and release it from app configuration. That's the fixture we will use throughout our test cases. So let's write tests for user authentication, means for login and logout. I will define the login function just to send a request by using the test client with the proper payload and return the response. Similarly, I will define the logout function, but this time I will add another parameter called follow underscore redirects because the login and logout page is redirect. So we will tell the client to follow redirects. Now let's write test cases for login logout. I will define another function named test underscore login underscore logout. This is the actual function for a test case. That's why we started its name with the test keyword. It will take the client as the argument. 
Inside this function, I will call the login function and pass the client along with an email and a password to authenticate. If you take a look at the create underscore table function inside the db.py file, you can see in case of testing, I am inserting this sample user. So we can use it here. Now we can check its status code because it's redirecting and we didn't add the follow underscore redirects inside the login function. So the returned status code will be 303. But in the case of logout, we're following the redirect, so it should be 200. Let's run these test cases. Open the terminal and run the command as pytest. Great. You can see our test case has been passed. It's one test case because of a single function. Let's write some more functions to write unit tests. First, I will write for the main route of the API by defining a function named API underscore home, which will take the client as the argument. And we will simply send a get request to slash API and return it. Another function named API underscore single underscore book to test the route which sends us a single book record using its ID. So this function will take the client and the book underscore ID. Rest will be similar. In the similar way, I will define the API underscore delete underscore book function. Another one to test the route where we can post a new book named API underscore post underscore book. For this one, we will need to define a complete book object using the Python's dict method and pass it to the post request as the payload and return it. Great. Let's write test cases for these functions. So the first one for the API underscore home, we will define the function named test underscore API underscore home and simply call the API underscore home function and check out the status code, which should be 200. Another one is the test underscore API underscore post underscore book in which we will simply call the API underscore post underscore book by passing the client and then we will check out the status code which should be 201 for successful creation of a new book. The next one will be test underscore API underscore single underscore book. And once again, we will call the corresponding function and pass the client along with the book ID and check out the status code which should be 200. And the last one will be test underscore API underscore delete underscore book similar to get underscore single underscore book. Now if we run the pytest command, you can see it found 5 test cases and all of these are passed. Another thing is that if you want to see some details about your test cases, you can pass the minus V flag with the pytest command which stands for verbose. Now if we run this command, it will provide us little bit more detail like test names and their results. Great. There are various other ways to structure your test's code base but simple is better. As make it more complicated, it will get harder to understand for other developers. We learned a lot from PyTest fixtures to actual test cases. So thanks for watching this clip. I hope you really enjoyed it.